Knowing that, we have to wish our hero a great goodbye. Dr. Kenneth Cowan. It is my pride to stand without shame in front of nations, to express my heartfelt gratitude for the good works of have done. You stood like a pillar without fear supporting this nation. You spoke words of wisdom, discouraging separation, encouraging cooperation throughout the land. You stood and spoke on behalf of every soul that called for help in the land of Zambia. And now, Zambia is called a better nation. One Zambia, one nation. He enjoyed music. When Zambia was declared independence, the tone of his voice really defined his happiness when Zambia was declared a better nation. I remember when he took me and told me, My daughter, listen to my words. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Oh, what a great loss we have accounted. Our mothers are in tears. Fathers in pain. The nations are mourning. Churches are fasting. Oh, we cry. Oh, Father in heaven. What a merciful God you are. Who gives and takes? Who forgives and forgets? We love you. What a great leader you were, who led by example and took action for your way. Oh, we cry to lose a soul with such a personality. We cry every day, every night, when we think of the responsibilities you took for us. You taught us, you fed us, you looked after us as a father. Not much can be done now, but the least we can do is heed to his wise words and stand firm for what he believed in. Let us not forget the things that's always taught us to debt. Let us pass on the stories about this great man to the coming generations. As we enjoy the peace he brought to us, Zambia will truly miss you. Let us unite in this morning. Now, we stand as one Zambia and one nation, leaving the destruction, standing for the nation and taking the succession. We speak 